you have two different areas that you're competing at AI. One is for dominance in the cloud. NVIDIA has taken all of that. So if you're using AI right now, you're using ChatGPT, you're using Cloud3, any of these things, it's probably running on the cloud and that's running on an NVIDIA chip. So all of these big cloud service providers have put in billions and billions and billions of dollars of GPUs from NVIDIA specifically in order to run this. And that's sort of the first thing. And that's going to continue because there's going to be a lot of this very complex AI models they're going to run in the cloud, run like call centers, they're going to run um, and search on and at Netflix, anything you think of, that's kind of going to be running. Now there's going to be other AI that's going to run more simply at a local level that's on device uh, AI. And that's really what you're hearing uh, AMD and uh, Qualcomm and some of these others are really trying to compete for that. So every PC is going to have a chip or sort of a chip set that has AI capabilities built in. Like the ARM, the ARM chip is running Copilot, which is a sensibly simplistic chat GPT that's going to run on your computer. So that way you can do search from your computer onto the internet without overloading the server with your search requests. So you can kind of run out of both things. So that's, I think, where the general chip uh, manufacturers are going to start to see some traction against NVIDIA. It's not just going to be NVIDIA. It, NVIDIA is going to play there, but I think that they're not going to be the major player there. Uh, but they're going to, NVIDIA is going to continue to be at the data center level, and that's going to be a huge, huge, huge market. I think the biggest piece of this market going forward. Everything else is... What? You know, PCs, we don't see a huge amount of units coming coming up. We don't see, uh, for instance, uh, cell phones. We don't see a huge number of units growing. But you, as you turn over these units to have AI capabilities, there's going to be a little bit more a total available market per unit that's going to drive chip sales. Eric, what, what about Intel, though? INTC, I remember the days of, uh, you, know, you know, Intel inside, et cetera. But you're saying that nobody really wants Intel chips. Why so? And what do you mean? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, essentially, like I said, AI is being driven at the cloud right now, so you're buying NVIDIA parts, but you also have other servers that go into that data center that could do supporting roles like moving files or handling uh, user interfaces, that type of thing. So Intel and AMD both su supply chips into that market, uh, and Intel's a larger player but has been losing share to, to AMD, so they're going to see some growth from that. They're going to see, they're, they're losing share, I think, in, in the PC area as you start to see, for instance, AMD offering AI-specific chips for PCs. You're going to start, to, and, and Qualcomm offering uh, processors with AI in Microsoft uh, Windows-type products uh, into that ecosystem. Intel kind of seems to be left out a little bit. I mean, they have their own graphics processors called Qi that they tried to develop. We hear nothing about it. Doesn't seem like anything exciting is going on there. They're not really talking about AI. They're talking about building more infrastructure in Ohio and Arizona, and it's getting paid for by the US. And that's great because they're saving money in doing that. But now that they're going to have all of this new capacity, they better damn well be able to fill it, or it's just going to be an incredible weight anchor around mm. their necks. They cannot fill it. 